Good morning. I'm Pastor Corby Johnson, and I'm so glad that you joined me today for the Proverbs, devotions in the Proverbs. We take things slowly, and today we have two verses from Proverbs 25, verses 11 and 12. And I'm going to read this in several versions today because I think it makes it more rich and more understandable. At least to me it did. So, the right word at the right time is like golden apples in silver jewelry. A wise person's warning to a listening ear is like a gold earring or jewelry made of gold. The next version is the living, New Living Translation. Timely advice is lovely, like golden apples in a silver basket. To one who listens, valid criticism is like a gold earring or other gold jewelry. Now, the message. The right word at the right time is like a custom-made piece of jewelry. And a wise friend's timely reprimand is like a gold ring slipped on your finger. All of these, to me, give it a more, the scripture, a more rich feeling to it. And you may have found one that really spoke to you. Go ahead and take a look further into those versions. Um, the first one was the International Reader's Version. The second, the New Living Translation. And the third, the Message from Eugene Peterson. So I want you to imagine being in a hostile situation that you are trying to diffuse the argument and your choice of words does not help at all. You need to try again using different words that the person who is upset may be able to understand and de-escalate and find that calm. Our activity today is, I wonder, and I'm sure you have, but I wonder if you've been in a situation where you knew that you did well to calm a person, that what you said, your demeanor, um, just melted the stress away from the people who were upset, and the person accepted guidance from you, the guidance that you offered. If you have a good friend or a spouse that has been upset, can you think of a time that you were able to help in that situation? Then as an action, I know that I have had more than a few conversations that have gone completely sideways. And sometimes I made the situation escalate in anger and fear instead of having that calming presence and bringing peace. Not that you solved the situation, but you allowed people to hear you in a way that they stepped back and they were really willing to pause and willing to think. Our focus verse today is a wise friend's Timely reprimand is like a gold ring slipped upon your finger. May you find that gold ring today in all your travels, at your work and at your home and during your play. We'll see you tomorrow, or no, we'll see you Monday. Bye-bye.